Nikita Gonchirov, and the title of his talk is Numerical Research of the Baringlajal Top Cochina Module on the Interval with Benzel Boundary Conditions. You're welcome, Nikita. You have 25 minutes. Thank you. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Uh, my topic is Numerical Research of Baringlajal Top Cochina Module on the Interval with Benzel Boundary Condition. Uh, I start all by showing first of all i'm start all by showing necessary aspects for studying this type of boundary conditions in the contents of differential partial equations after that i'll turn to the schwenzel uh, problem uh, for boring blood to call fortuna equation uh, on the interval and uh, i'll end up with some ideas for application of this problem for researching some physical um, models uh, and examples. Um, so, just a moment, please. Um, let us um, consider the Kershaw-Wenzel problem for the brain blood to fortuna equation on the interval. We describe the dynamical pressure of a tissue fluid in the fractured porous medium. Um, we can see uh, on this slide a uh, new um, kind of uh, boundary condition. The study of initial boundary condition uh, with uh, this form uh, is first mentioned uh, in the works of Alexander Dmitrievich Wenzel. Um, in uh, his um, papers, uh, he uh, posed uh, the equation of finding a semi-group generator for time homogeneous Markov process uh, in a closed uh, bounding domain with a sufficiently smooth boundary uh, of diffusion process inside in this domain. Uh, and uh, the operator uh, was an elliptic differential operator of the second uh, order. Regardless of this result, um, this problem was considered by uh, failure. Uh, but um, I um, mentioned uh, some uh, other um, scientific uh, groups and uh, papers. So, um, uh, further, in 2000, uh, the group of mathematician uh, scientists such as uh, Angelo Fabini, uh, Giselle and Jerome Goldstein, and Serena uh, Romanelli, um, they find out uh, the uh, condition, the certain condition, which um, um, allows to um, form a con contracted, uh, contracting uh, and uh, contracting semi group. Uh, and uh, I uh, mentioned this uh, such uh, box. So, first of all, we uh, should recall the main results uh, which proved all the one of the papers uh, necessary for fusion numerical uh, solution of a uh, problem. Let us consider the differential operator with general Wenzel boundary condition. And by formulas, we define the new linear operator where F is a specific uh, space uh, with um, the um, uh, some such as uh, with um, modified uh, extra um, elements uh, in these uh, norms, and uh, we can see uh, the uh, alpha sub uh, one and beta sub one is the same, uh, and in the boundary conditions uh, for five. And uh, if we consider all the, the linear manifold uh, is a set of um, all functions which belongs to twice uh, differential continuous uh, function uh, on the interval, which um, 
where conditions are fulfilled, and the domain of the operator uh, A, uh, we uh, can um, explain uh, some uh, properties uh, of this uh, constructed uh, new operator A. Uh, first of all, uh, the domain of the operator is a bank space with regards to the following node. The domain of the operator is densely embedded in the uh, modified specified space, yeah, uh, the basic space. And um, A is a linear operator. And uh, uh, we recall uh, the theorem which demonstrates. Uh, the solution uh, of the Kosciuszko problem, uh, due uh, dependent on the perimeter parameters lambda, we uh, have uh, two uh, other uh, forms uh, which um, is associated with uh, obtaining solution, and. Um, uh, the main uh, idea, the main purpose uh, is to show a new approach to solve all this problem with Wenzel boundary condition, namely according to the modifying the lurking method, uh, describe uh, the solution and uh, consider uh, certain examples. Um, the algorithms uh, includes uh, Modified the working methods. It's necessary to find an approximation, approximate solution uh, in, in the following form, uh, where phi sub k are angel function of the one dimensional place operator or A and corresponds to its agent values, autonomous by the uh, following norm. And we um, can describe uh, sub uh, substitute approximate solution and um, have uh, algebraic uh, or first order differential equations independent on the parameters lambda. Uh, if lambda belongs uh, the uh, sigma of, uh, of uh, operate uh, the sigma a, uh, without last or generally spoken, as, uh, we um, have uh, algebraic uh, and some uh, ordinary differential equations of the first order. If lambda not belongs, uh, we um, have uh, that uh, the, we obtain that uh, the mathematical uh, model is non-degenerate, and all the um, obtaining uh, equations in the resulting system are ordinary differential. Uh, equation of the first order, uh, and we can uh, solve uh, with respect to uh, U sub k. And uh, uh, since the Galerkin method uh, is not of most interest, we describe the main idea. And um, in this slide, uh, we can see the block diagram of uh, the algorithm. And uh, I came up uh, this problem uh, with uh, the finding of the spectrum uh, of uh, obtaining modified operator. Uh, we should to uh, solve the transcendental equation, uh, find some uh, points of this uh, set and uh, uh, find out uh, their solution. So let us um, consider the example. Uh, we can see uh, one dimensional Baryn Blood of Fortuna uh, equation, the and uh, some uh, boundary condition. Uh, firstly, uh, we should to solve the Sturm Liouville. Uh, I'm sorry, the Sturm Liouville uh, problem and find basis function, and uh, we obtain the transcendental equation of the corresponding form 
we find out and write down the agent function of the one dimension to the place operator. And uh, then we uh, construct the autonomous basis using the Gram Schmidt method. We substitute approximated uh, solution in the equation and multiply by uh, the function uh, phi sub k by the norm. We obtain the following system and then uh, due to the fact that lambda is not belonging to the spectrum of the operator R, the mathematical model is non-degenerate and we obtain, uh, we obtain um, uh, the system of ordinary differential or the first uh, ordinary differential equations. So with initial conditions. And then we find out the uh, coefficients and uh, substitute them in the representation we obtain an approximate solution to the original problem. I um, want to uh, tell you about we uh, in terms of uh, the theory of related e bounding operators, uh, study the uh, Berin Blagel Tov Kotina model. And um, in particular, uh, examine the relative spectrum uh, in one uh, dimensional uh, equation, construct the resolving group in a uh, part uh, is associated with the analytical. Um, research all this model. And uh, then uh, in the second part, we uh, examine the asymptotic um, approximation of the spectrum. Um, I'm mm, don't ins insert to this report uh, asymptot asymptotic um, approximation of uh, this uh, spectrum according to obtain operator. Uh, but uh, if we uh, mm, may find out uh, these results in uh, some of my articles, uh, you can see um, uh, the uh, necessary um, conditions. Uh, which I used uh, to resolve this problem at all. Thank you, Nikita. Uh, are there any questions to the speaker? May I ask one, one question? Yes, sure. <clears throat> uh, because your problem depend on a parameter lambda, and uh, when you come to close to the uh, spectral point, then the problem becomes singular, because uh, in the system we have zero in the uh, in the derivative, so the problem becomes rigid. Is it influenced somehow to the solution or to the algorithm and so on? First of all, uh, the operator A is uh, essentially self enjoying And uh, we uh, don't, uh, we can start close the mechanism. We well, may close a closable operator, but uh, if we can see on agent values, just a moment, please. Lambda sub A uh, is approximately minus uh, P N plus
I would have uh, the following properties. Uh, the operator has a real uh, discrete finite uh, multiplicity spectrum with the unique limit point. And uh, if we uh, obtain the asymptotic approximation, we uh, Or uh, we have uh, the, this result, uh, which uh, you can see on this slide. And, uh, but maybe I didn't catch uh, your questions and I uh, don't understand. Uh, I, I, I mean the following. Look at the uh, Hallerkin approximation, the system of differential equations. In the right hand side, you have a multiplier lambda minus lambda i. Yeah. It is a multiplier uh, in front of the derivative. So if we uh, are close to, the, to this multiplier, uh, to this uh, uh, spectral, uh, spectral point, uh, this coefficient is almost zero. So we have rigid problem. Is it uh, effect somehow to the algorithm of calculations? Because in this case, it's usually rather unpleasant to uh, calculate this such a problems, rigid problems. We must uh, there. Uh... It depends on the parameter lambda. Yeah. If lambda is belongs to the set of the spectrum of operator A, we uh, have uh, two uh, aspects. Uh, first of all, if lambda is uh, belongs to spectrum of operator A, uh, we have a degenerate system, mathematical model, yeah? Because in the left uh, side of this equation, we uh, have a zero. So uh, in this case, lambda is not belong, belong of the spectrum of operator A. And we not uh, have a degenerate, degenerate case to, uh, according to this problem. Yeah, I understand, but... but uh... Assume the following, your algorithm is constructed as follows. If lambda equal lambda i, you go to the right. And if lambda not equal lambda i, you go to the left. Yes? Yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. Suppose, suppose we uh, are very close to lambda uh, equal to the lambda i, to which, to, to which <laughs> way you go. Because if you go to the uh, non-degenerate problem, we should uh, calculate the system of n equations. But if you go to the right, you uh, deal with the problem of i minus one differential equations. The problem is singular. So the algorithm becomes uh, are stable in a, in a sense. Maybe lin li linear problems are not very <laughs> sensitive on this parameter, but usually it's very, very uh, uh, hard problems in such cases. Thank you. I understand your remark. Uh... I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I have to uh, uh, re rediscover uh, this uh, problem and try and come up with uh, this case uh, uh, in algorithm, to algorithm, yeah. Okay. Thank Actually, you. Actually, there arises another problem here when you have a singular equation then uh, you should check the if initial data belongs to the phase space of the equation. So you, this problem is not solvable for arbitrary initial data because one of the equations in the system becomes algebraic and uh, if initial values do not 
satisfy this equation, then you won't be able to solve the problem at all. And uh, actually, I didn't see this on the slides. Do you check this condition in your algorithm? Yeah, it was similar to the problem uh, when, when you have uh, uh, an order derivative uh, differential equation and uh, with some uh, coefficient, which is a function of, of x and the uh, so at some x you have a zero, you have singular problem for for the even even for linear equation. So, so it's a uh, you should if, be, be careful <laughs> in this case. Are there any other questions? Thank you for your comments. I wonder what is the physical meaning of, of the Wenzel boundary conditions for this equation that you mentioned for Brandt-Vatsuk of Fortune equation. According to this uh, equation, yeah? yeah. Uh, it's transmission uh, between two uh, medium uh, to 3D. Two objects. We, we can uh, we can distinguish uh, the medium porous. Uh, mm, we can can distinguish fraction porous medium uh, by um, um, decomposed two uh, parts, uh, fractured uh, fractured uh, subject and uh, medium subject. No, I mean uh, it's uh, two. Um, such чего вы хотите сказать? Я хочу сказать то, что это условие несет в себе смысл при переходе из пористой среды в причиноватую. То есть, когда мы ну как в уравнении оно само в себе включает то, что uh, it is not polite to speak Russian when the yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry. Friends are in the room. So I'm so sorry. Try to do the best, please. The equation have a sense and and proceed. <laughs> we can distinguish uh, two sphere, uh, spheres, uh, fractured and porous, um, and uh, it's uh, allows to. Um, Transit uh, the uh, liquid uh, from one uh, medium to another medium. Uh, I uh, reported uh, these uh, ideas in one of the uh, article. And uh, if we could uh, uh, learn there, um, if we could. Um, so ah, we can, if we could um, resolve this uh, equation, we can see uh, the extra uh, element which shows uh, this uh, transmission between two different media. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's thank our speaker.